Lord Jesus, I pray in agreement with every heart that is listening right now. Father, would you teach us to number our days so that we may have a heart of wisdom? Teach us to live with the fear of the Lord ruling our hearts. Help us to live a life that is led by godly wisdom. Your word in Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 27 says, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. God, I receive your spirit. I receive the Holy Spirit. And according to your word, you will put your spirit within me and cause me. You will cause me to walk in your statutes. Holy Spirit, empower me to walk in holiness. Holy Spirit, empower me to walk with the eyes of faith. Empower me to walk in alignment with God's word. Help me, Holy Spirit, so that I can let go of every sin, every idol, every addiction that weighs me down in my walk with Christ. Help me to let go of bitterness. Help me to forgive and to let go of any anger and resentment. Give me the grace to live with an attitude that for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Eternity is just around the corner. Help me to live with wisdom, Father. I don't know the day or the hour that you will call my name to your throne. However, I pray that when you do call me, Lord, and I stand before you, find me to be a believer who lives in a manner that pleases you. With the time that I have here on earth, set my heart ablaze for you and your kingdom. Don't allow me to be lukewarm. I have made a decision to follow you, Lord. And so I pray that you would help me to make the best use of the time I have here on earth, because the days are evil. There is a battle to do right and wrong every day. A battle to live in sin or holiness. In this relentless battle, help me to never lose sight of you and your wonderful promises. Help me never to lose sight of what your word says in John chapter 14, verse 1 to 4. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Lord, I embrace this promise. As I live this life, Father, I want to be found to be in obedience to you, to your will, to your authority, to your kingdom, and to all your ways. Lord, I surrender my flesh to the will of Jesus Christ. I do not want to be led or attracted to earthly pleasures. Lord, as your children, give us the mind of Christ where I pursue godliness each and every day. I want to be rooted in your word so that I can stand firm against Satan's schemes. Lord Jesus, you paid a heavy sacrifice for me on the cross. And all thanks and glory be unto you because I now have victory in this life. And it's all because of you. I don't know what tomorrow will bring. But whatever it brings, Jesus is with me. And in Jesus, I have a strong refuge in the day of trouble. I bless your holy name. And I thank you for listening to this prayer. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.